The next exercise is gonna be a bridging exercise. This can be done without the ball, but with the ball, you're gonna be working your balance much more and your core strength a lot harder. So these again are exercises I like to do. Um, the feet, usually when the feet are slightly pointed, people tend to bring them inward and invert. So I'm gonna have her flex her feet up for this exercise. That way, once you flex the foot, that kind of locks it and keeps it from um, your ankle from moving inward. All right, so bridging, this one's super fun. I'm gonna have her flex her feet up. Again, hips, knees, feet are in one line. With the hands, both hands, palms are down on the floor to help you with stability. She's gonna slowly lift her hips up off the floor and bringing them down. So go ahead and do a couple repetitions here. I like to start with the even number of 10. So she would do 10 repetitions and she can work up to three sets of 10 if she wishes. If the exercise is difficult, that is the one that I would uh, concentrate on and increase repetitions with. Go ahead and bring the ball a little bit closer to you. Mm-hmm. And then try the hip raises now. Do maybe three. Tell me if that's easier or harder. A lot easier. A lot easier. So if the ball is closer to you, it's gonna make it easier. So if you're having a really difficult time, you can bring the ball closer to you, but beware of knee hyperextension with this. Her feet are off the ball when the ball is closer. So if your knees go into hyperextension, that would not be a good position for you. You can also do it, bring the ball a little bit closer with your knees bent. Uh-huh. And then lift up your hips from there. Is that easier or harder? Easy. Easier, yeah. And so this is a really easy way to do it, but if you have knee hyperextension, I would not do it um, in the position that we just showed. This is um, how you could get started with this exercise. Go ahead and bring it away from you again. So it's underneath your ankle's feet, so your feet are supported a little farther up. There you go. So you wanna work up to that ball being far away from you. Okay. So the next thing that you do after you can do 10 repetitions easy is crossing your arms. Yes, and lift up your hips. Aha, so you wanna make sure that your hips leave the floor at the same time. Left and right hip leave the floor at the same time and come down on the floor at the same time. You can see the ball is moving a little bit. Ideally, the ball should be still. Try a couple more repetitions. So by crossing the arms, I take away her stability of using her arms for balance. So this is going to work your core even more. And rest. And so again, to make this even harder, that you would progress to arms crossed, eyes closed for a set of 10. Okay, go ahead and stop. So I would not progress to eyes closed until you have mastered arms down for a couple sets of 10 and arms crossed for a couple sets of 10. The next part of this exercise is one leg is going to stay on the ball, flex your foot, flex your foot that's on the ball. Yeah, so that way it doesn't turn out or in. And the other leg is just bent up in the air. Go ahead and bring that, that knee towards your chest a little bit. So that is too far. You want to be kind of in a seated position with that other leg. Lifting the hips, both hips up and down. This makes it a little bit harder and then all of your proprioception is going through that leg that's on the ball. Again, you wanna keep the ball from moving. That's the goal. If you're using your core really well, the ball should be absolutely stable. Be careful your left foot is not turning in. Mm -hmm. That's a common compensation is to turn in the leg or to invert the ankle. One more and then try a couple on the other side. So you start with a set of 10 each side, and then you could do one set of 10 each side, two sets of 10 each side. Good, one more. You do a single leg down and then both crossing your arms. So one leg's up in the air, and this one's hard. You could start by lifting your hips just a little bit off the floor and slowly down. So you can see the ball is rolling around a bit on her, and so she would have to practice this a little bit more. So you start with a little hip raise. 
just tiny. Make sure both hips come up at the same time and suck in your stomach as you go. Go slower. When you go faster, you're gonna roll right off that ball, slower. There you go, slower, better. All right, so these are the common compensations I see. Do slower rather than faster. Start with a very small hip raise and work your way up to a bigger one.